This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. The Toronto Association for Democracy in China was founded on the eve of the Tiananmen Square Massacre on June 4th, 1989. Our organization supports democracy and advocates for human rights in China. As well, in recent years, we have been a watchdog for Chinese interference on Canadian soil. The first foray by China to exert soft power on Canadian society occurred in the early 90s when China was eager to polish its international image post Tiananmen Square. Urged on and supported by Chinese consulates, organizations were set up by individuals sympathetic to the regime. Chief among, among them are the National Congress of Chinese Canadians, NCCC, and its successor, the Confederation of Toronto Chinese Canadian Organizations, CTCCO. These and many other proxy organizations practice the art of astroturfing, echoing the party line to defend China's foreign and domestic policies. In addition to engaging friendly academics and business people to advocate on its behalf, China also spreads its tentacles to cultivate elected officials and infiltrate political institutions at all levels of the Canadian society. All this is documented in journalist Jonathan Manthrop's book, The Claws of the Panda. One of these instruments of interference is the United Front Work Department. According to official documents, United Front takes special interest in people of Chinese descent living abroad, viewing them as powerful external threats as well as potential allies. It also employs thousands of agents to pursue the Chinese Communist Party's political strategy to use international networks to advance its global interests. They also harass and intimidate Canadians who are critical of China, activists, dissidents, and human rights defenders, rendering the Chinese Canadian community the real victims of this game. We are therefore not surprised by the finding of the recent CSIS report. No doubt, the interference in Canadian ele electoral process is a grave concern. But I argue that this is but the tip of the iceberg. China's interference in Canada has been soft, <coughs> intangible, and gradual. As a result, this built up over the years, the 90% of the iceberg, if you were, remains invisible to many Canadians. Irrespective of whether the past elections have been fair or not, I argue this invisible part of the iceberg should be the focus of our concern. In 2017, Canadian Coalition on Human Rights in China, together with Amnesty International, gathered evidences of harassment and intimidation by the Chinese government on individuals in Canada working on China-related human rights concern, and published the Harassment and Intimidation Report. The report also urged the government to set up national hotline to allow for reporting of these harassment and intimidation incidents that are otherwise ignored by the local police or the RCMP. We therefore urge Canada to address China interference on these multiple fronts by taking a strong and principled stance in the issues highlighted in the CSIS reporting, establishing a national reporting hotline on harassment and intimidation, and set up a foreign agent registry similar to the one in Australia. While these actions may not completely eliminate the problem, at least they can act as deterrent and serve notice to foreign powers that their prox and their proxies that we guard our democratic institutions and our sovereignty <laughs> seriously. And at this time, I would like to add uh, a few lines about um, that is not in my prepared statement. I just watched uh, the live press conference carried out by Minister Menachino, in which the establishment of a foreign agent registry is seen as an attack on the Chinese-Canadian community. 
Let me this process will begin now and conclude on May 9th. At its core, the purpose of our consultation will seek to do three things. Foster transparency regarding legitimate foreign state lobbying and activities. Modernize existing legislative authorities to address and mitigate foreign state activities that go beyond legitimate diplomacy in an attempt to clandestinely or deceptively manipulate Canada's open democracy, economy, and society. My colleague, Minister Ng, was with me today when we launched this consultation. She spoke about the fear and the anxiety that is in the Chinese Canadian community around the stereotyping and, and the fear of being uh, painted with the same yeah, brush but you're around you're not us. inventing anything is, new. This is something that already exists. Let right? me assure you, this is not the case. Chinese, the Chinese Canadian community, together with our Uyghur, Uyghur community, Tibetan community, and other people, welcome this foreign agent registry. A, monet, a registry on a foreign agent is not the same as a registry on all Chinese Canadians. <laughs>